Hi, this is Kimberly and I would like to welcome you back to my channel, Bookkeeping Journey, where I share my journey towards becoming a full-time bookkeeper and all the knowledge that I have gained along the way. So today's video is going to be on in QuickBooks Online again and we are going to go through purchase orders. I'm going to add I am going to explain to you what is a purchase order and what is the process of creating a purchase order. I will also show you how to create a purchase order and the different ways that you can create a purchase order in QuickBooks Online. All right. But before we go on, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, press that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. So to create a purchase order, I click on this new button up here. You come on the vendors, you click on purchase order, and then it will open up a purchase order form. So in this purchase order form, as you can see, it is blank. It does not have any information, but as you can see as well, it doesn't, it has in the company. So Greg's landscape and design, which is um, the landscaping company in which we are currently using it has that ship as the shipping address now if i wanted it to send this order to a different um to a different to someone else different a different customer i will put the customer name in here and it will populate the address i'm not going to fully complete this form i'm just going to show you um when you create when you're in a, when you're creating a purchase order for a customer there's something that happens that i want you to be aware of so that either either way you go create a purchase order you are mindful of looking out for this because quickbooks tries to be helpful and it could sometimes run you in trouble all right so let's say that i came in here and i put in norton all right so I put in Norton, it populates this information and we're not going to put input any of that information there. But as you can see here, down here, it puts in this information that he would have pre that I would have previously ordered from him. So what QuickBooks does is that it guesses what you will order again from the particular vendor. So if you want to keep it, you will keep it. And if you want to delete those, make sure you come down here and you delete it or not. You see the amount up here so always make sure that whenever you're doing a um, you're processing any of these forms in QuickBooks um, that you make sure you check the amount that is the correct amount and that you double check the items that you have um, listed so I'm going to close this purchase order form I'm going to the next way that we can go and create a purchase order which is you come down to expenses you click on the new transaction tab the arrow next to it and then you can click on purchase order so while we in this while we are in this screen i will explain to you what is a purchase order so a purchase order is um when you this is after you have called um your vent your vendor you got a estimate of the of the stuff that you want to buy um, and then they send you back an estimate of the information of the stuff that you that you requested from them so we pick we pick up the phone we said hi um let's say we're calling the same norton um and you know so hi norton company i would like to order um a fountain pump and some soil so he sends you over an, an estimate and then you see that well look we can probably get every single thing that is on here that he quoted us or the price is too high so we're going to cut back and we're going to buy whatever whatever it is that you decide that you're going to buy now is when you send a purchase order to that um, vendor now when you send that purchase order to the vendor quickbooks um helps you in the sense of you don't you know not, you not only just send the purchase order but you can have the order shipped to a different address after you send that purchase order and the, the, that company processes your purchase order then they will send you back now obviously they send you the goods probably with a delivery note and then send the invoice after or they might send the goods along with the invoice 
and then that invoice is when you pay at a later date um, if you don't know how to create an invoice in QuickBooks Online, there's a link on the iCard that you can click um, or you can go watch it after this video. All right, so that's the process of create. That's what purchase order is and the process of create that happens when you create a purchase order. Okay, so we're going to come out of this bank one and then we are going to go in. The next way you can create a purchase order in QuickBooks is to come to expenses and then you click on vendors or you could have clicked on vendors in this arrow here you could have clicked on vendors there all right then you come into here you search for your vendor we're going to use norton again i'm going to show you the difference with norton because norton has a purchase order here so i'm going to use norton that has a purchase order and then i'm going to use someone else that didn't have a purchase order so you can see the difference so we come over here we click new transaction and then we come down to purchase order all right and then you come in here you see norton's information has already been populated and then his the fountain pump and the uh rock fountain is down here but i don't want those in here so i am going to delete that i'm actually going to order some soil from him And I'm going to order five bags of soil and then I am going to order um, the sprinkler heads as well and I'm going to order 20 of those all right and that's what I'm ordering from him today and this sprinkler head is going to go to cool cars but I'm going to take it to cool cars and right so then you come down here you click save and close or save and send or save and new save and new is when you are going to create another purchase order for another customer but right now what we're going to do is we're going to click on save and new so I can show you now another customer so as you see it populates a new blank purchase order and we are going to use um, one of my favorite vendors I always use in here I can't get his name pronounced pro properly <laughs> um, and you can see now Bursanahan insurance agency does not have any information here on a purchase order because he's never had a purchase order before so we're going to close him out do you want to leave without saving yes because i'm not going to put information in there um and you will see when you come down here in norton norton has um his purchase order you can send it here you click on this down arrow and you can choose one of these options here all right to edit to print it um or you can send it as well straight to the customer because obviously the customer has to ha has to have it before the order can be processed that's basically how you can create purchase orders in quickbooks um i hope you enjoyed the video i want to thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and may you have a wonderful day bye